Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel and the Zenith 750 Super Duty build. You know, it's been almost a month since I've been in the hangar doing anything on this airplane. I've just been too busy with work and some other things. In fact, the only thing I've gotten done in the last month is I've rebuilt the canopy on the pits. If you guys remember, my rail kind of came apart, the slider rail. So I got that all fixed, put back together. But with the winter weather, I've canceled the insurance on the pits and I'm done flying it for the winter. So now I've got some time off. I'm back on the Super Duty. And before I took my little break from building, I was working on the upper inboard wing skins. And today I will show you what I've been doing on there and what I'm doing today. Well, this skin here, this inboard skin on top of the wing, is the last thing I was working on on the Super Duty. And this skin overlaps the windshield actually by quite a bit, a quarter inch or five sixteenths or so. So in order to fit this skin, the first thing I did was I trimmed the window. If you remember years ago, it seems like when I actually installed this top window. I left the edge of the window long because I wasn't sure where to cut it at. So now that I'm fitting this skin on and the wings, I took the window off and I trimmed both edges here and on the other side. And what I did was I made the windshield flush with that little rib that's under here. And then when I put this skin on, the skin overhangs the, the window. And what I did on here is I cut this parallel with the edge of the window all the way up. So there's a nice straight line and it does not overlap now. Now looking at this skin from the front, you can kind of see what I did here is I didn't really cut back on the very front of this. If you look at it from the top, you notice how it comes straight with the windshield and then it curves inward. This skin was from about here, it went straight back. And so this is how I cut it. But I'm not sure I'm going to leave this here. I can still get to this screw here um, with this, the skin like this. But what I do like about this is it closes up this gap in the front. So if we look at it from the front, this piece here will be down like that. And then this um, closes up up front here. Now the very first thing I had to do when I just attached the wing with this skin installed was I had to trim the very front of this because it was hitting the windshield. And this is how I did that. I'm using my Dremel tool with a little grinding bit to remove some of this extra aluminum. And really, it's just kind of a guess on how much to remove. I had to do this twice. I removed a little bit the first time, fit the wing and it wasn't enough, so I took it off and cut off a little bit more. After I was done with the grinder, I cleaned it up with a file and of course, after the file, I use sandpaper to make it nice and smooth. And this is just what it looks like when I was done trimming it. Now, one of the other things I noticed when I installed this is that the bottom skin hits this side piece here, this mount for the door. It's, it doesn't hit it up front and it doesn't hit in the back, but as you get towards the middle here, it starts hitting these rivets. So what I wanna do is trim off about a 16th of an inch of the bottom skin. So once I remove this wing, I'll trim the bottom. And also one other thing under here, you'll notice the opening here, these skins don't really line up perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll take this skin here, I'll draw a line on it and then cut this so that this is a nice even opening. Well, that's where I left off three or four weeks ago. Now getting back into this, yesterday, Brian and Gordon came over and helped me attach the left wing. So now I'll show you kind of from the beginning with that skin, how it fits and how I'm going to trim it to fit. All right, here's this top skin, top inboard skin on the left wing. And if you notice from the back here, there's a little bit of a space between the skin and the top window. And then as we move forward, you can see this skin starts to overlap the window and it overlaps it more and more and more until you get to the very front and then there's a big gap kind of up here. So what I did was obviously back here, it doesn't need trim because it's already a little short. So if you can see this black line I've drawn on here, I drew this line. What I do is I just measured from here over and then from this hole over and that hole over. So it's all even with the edge of the window, but you can see 
how much here as I move the camera forward, I have to trim off. And the other, the other thing you'll, you'll notice is how wavy the, this part, inboard part of the skin is. And I had Clecos in here and a Cleco up here. And when we attached the wing, I didn't realize the, the skin was hitting those Clecos and it kind of bent the skin a little bit, which is okay because that all gets cut off anyway. But at least you can kind of see on here where the top skin will need trimmed. So what I'll do now is I'll remove this skin and trim that, put it back on and see how it fits. Now, before I remove that top skin, one of the things I did with this wing was I knew that I was going to have to trim the bottom, just like the other side. So what I did was before I even attached this wing, I trimmed about a 16th of an inch off of this skin. And now it fits real nice along the uh, here. It's not, it's not touching anywhere. Trimming this is pretty easy, and there's different ways you can do it. This isn't probably the, this is probably not the most efficient way to do it, but this is for me the easiest way is I just put a piece of tape on here to mark off about a sixteenth of an inch, and then I used my nibbler just to go down the entire length of it and just nibbled off, uh, you know, about that sixteenth of an inch from it. Obviously, using that nibbler, you're going to have a pretty rough edge. So then I just took my file and filed it filed it as smooth as I could. Then I went over it with sandpaper and now it's a nice, perfectly smooth edge. While I have the skin off, I want to deburr all of the holes that I drilled in here when I was fitting this skin. And when you have a skin this thin, I mean, this stuff is almost paper thin. You don't want to use a deburring tool like this because what happens is you, you end up getting a hole it looks like this and when you put a rivet through there it's not really touching the skin too much as it would be as you can see the rivet on the right so that's why I use my file and I just take off that little burr on the hole now the only problem with doing this is it does tend to scratch up the aluminum no matter how careful you are um, and it, what it does, it takes off that, that real thin layer of pure aluminum, which is kind of your corrosion protection. So when I use a file to deburr these holes, I always go back and I put a coat of primer on here to regain some of the corrosion protection. Well, I have this skin trimmed now. I will reinstall it and see how it fits. Well, first, let me just show you something up here. First, you can, I just want to show you how I cut the canopy or the window flush with this rib. Now, the other thing that I want to maybe give you a tip uh, or save you some hassle is if you're fitting your wings before you have this door attachment skin riveted to the, the fuselage frame, um, and I don't have mine riveted yet because I want to take it off and paint it first. But so I have it clecoed on, but if you use normal clecos, they're too long and you won't be able to attach your wing because the Clecos will hit this skin. So I had to order some of these short Clecos uh, and they actually work perfect. They fit in there and they won't interfere with this rib. So maybe before you get to this step, go ahead and order. I only bought six of them. I used three on each side, but go ahead and order a couple of these short Clecos and that just might save you some hassle. And I have the skin back on. And unfortunately, I didn't get it perfect. On the right wing, I trimmed it perfect the first time. And on this one, uh, it's still, it's just touching or overlapping very slightly the window. So I need to trim another, I'll have to see, maybe 16th or maybe even an eighth of an inch off of uh, uh, the inboard edge yet. So I'll have to take it off and trim it a little bit more. On the front edge here, you can see I did trim that very nicely. It goes right up to the windshield, but it doesn't touch it. I don't particularly like this little gap right here, but that's just the nature of the design. The wing curve doesn't quite match exactly where the, the canopy is. There's a little bit of a gap there. It'd be nice to make a fairing for that, but I doubt I will. So that looks good there. I just need to uh, mark off and trim the top. Well, it looks like a second time is a charm. I have it now trimmed here where it comes up almost exactly to the edge of the window and uh, it's a perfect fit. 
Now this is a real nice fit from the very front. I like that. And then just like the other side, it starts to curve inward a little bit here and uh, covers the top of the, the window, which I think is fine. I may just leave it like that. So I think this might be done. One of the things I noticed here about the left wing is this skin really sits nicely with the exact same curve as the windshield. I mean, it, it's almost perfectly even the whole way up until you get up to the very front here, then there's this little gap right here. And it's just because the window kind of ends further back than the front of the wing. But on my right wing, you'll notice there's more of a little bit of a space uh, between the, the top window and the skin. Right about here, you can see the skin is a little bit higher than the windshield or the top window. It doesn't really follow the exact same curve. There's really nothing the builder can do about that. I think it's just probably a matter of how the ribs are formed. That's just how all the pieces kind of line up and go together. Anyway, with this being done, I can take these skins off. I want to prime the inside. There's also an aluminum strip here. You guys remember from a video or two ago uh, that just kind of joins these two together. I want to take that out and prime it. And then I can put it all back together and rivet it together. Now, while I'm talking about the inboard skins here, I kind of wanted to come back to this area right here. Now, I do have a couple Clecos out here, so it's not fitting perfectly as it would when it's riveted, but there's really not a real nice fit here. You can see this does stick up a little bit more. Um, around here, you know, it's, there's a little bit of a gap. And my concern really would be leaving this out in the rain because rain will get in there and probably pull up down in here. So what I'm thinking about doing is making another fairing for this area like I did for my cruiser, like this fairing here. And then what I do is if it comes up here like this and kind of, I guess maybe show you like this, if it comes up like this and covers this area, I can put a little bit of silicone, I think, on the inside of that fairing when I attach it to here, and that would keep rain out, and it would look better. This area isn't real noticeable because there is the big slat that goes up front here, but I'm thinking about maybe making a fairing to cover this up here. Obviously, it's going to extend the, the project even longer. That's the problem with making custom parts or modifying things, but in the end, it will look a lot nicer. Not 100% sure I'm going to do that, but something I'm thinking about. I think what I will probably do regarding that fairing is wait until the wing is completely riveted together. I'll see how those skins come together and how it looks when it's done, and then determine at that point if I want to spend the time making fairings for that. That would be pretty easy to do because if there's not too much of a compound curve there. It's really just taping it off and putting a couple, glass, or a couple layers of glass down and that's it. So it wouldn't take too long to make that fairing. It would look better, and I think it would help seal it for rain. Well, guys, that's it for me today. I've been out here all day. I'm going to bed, <laughs> and I think tomorrow what I'll do is I'll get up, take these skins off, and get them primed and at least ready to rivet together. I might wait until the wings are off to actually rivet that whole section together, but if I can get them primed tomorrow, at least they'll be ready to go, and then I can move on to doing something else. See you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.